Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Eagle and I would like to welcome you all to the first video in this channel where we will be playing a lot of mobile gaming featuring specifically strategy and war games like this game today. This is a game, this is a game named Kiss of War, which is a Tap for Fun production. This game is set in World War II. It features a lot of state-of-the-art game mechanics and strategies for you guys who actually love strategy gaming and wars on the mobile phone. This is the game for you guys. Today, we will be going through, we'll be taking first looks about this game, explaining some basic game mechanics and going through the tutorial with you guys. So, right off the bat, let's go on and start with choosing a country. So the game uh, starts off like this, you have four countries to choose from. Each country has specific traits, differs from the other country. Of course, when you start playing the game, you can switch between countries. It will cost you a little bit of gold, which is a, a currency in the game. Uh, or you can get a free uh, country exchange as well in the game. So. Don't worry about choosing, like, don't take this too seriously. You can still switch countries within the game. Depends on the, uh, on your needs and the phase of the game. So, there are currently four countries you can choose from. Uh, the United States, the Soviet Union, Germany, and lastly, the United Kingdom. Uh, as we said, each country has specific traits, highly dependent on your own playstyle. So, for example, the United States fits best for players who are trying to develop faster and grow faster inside the game because it's give, it gives you 5% construction speed, which is an amazing boost if you are trying to build uh, and grow your building production faster. The Soviet Union is more focused on offense and wars. So, for players who are constantly striving for wars and trying to build bigger armies, trying to uh, specifically build uh, tank destroyers in the game. This is a great country for you guys. My recommendation is that this country is not that awesome if you are trying to develop faster in the game. Uh, however, it helps a lot on the long run as you will need a lot of troops in the long run. So this is uh, my, in my recommendation. This is a mo better uh, for late game, not early game. Germany is uh, great as well for development in terms of research. It has 5% research boost, which can actually help you significantly give your troops more uh, offense and defense boosts, as well as give you some uh, gathering boosts and uh, improve your uh, growth and development in, uh, in terms of research. It features as well some more balanced features, which gives you 5% uh, march speed to your troops, and 5% tank attack. The United Kingdom uh, gives a huge uh, repair speed, which is 10%. Uh, it's very good as well for people who are trying to fight more in wars. Uh, however, this is a well-balanced country because as well, it features 10% boost for harvesting. So uh, for players who are trying to just go from time to time into wars, and stay most of the time gathering and playing a passive gameplay, this country is perfect for you uh, because of that 10% harvesting speed, it will increase your harvesting speed by a lot. As well, it, it features as well health for all troops, which, uh, which gives 3% health, which is as well a cool buff. Um, my own recommendation uh, is now Germany. I like this country personally, it's a well-balanced country, so we'll choose Germany this time. Once we go through the game, it will walk us through a quick tutorial explaining some uh, some basic features in the game. So you will be the commander of a base of operations. Now, the base of operations has officers. These officers will be the leaders of your troops. So when starting the game, uh, you start by choosing one of uh, four officers that are available. Don't worry at this point because you will be able to easily unlock the other officers that are available over here. So each officer has uh, a specific country and is uh, specifically focused on one types of troops. There are mainly four types of troops in the game. 
that we will go through in this video as well. So, Linda is focused more on tank uh, trips. Greetings, Maria Linda. is focused more on tank destroyers. Helene is focused victory. on... It's a general uh, officer, which basically isn't focused on any troops. However, gives buffs to all types of troops. And Driven for? is more focused on infantry. Now, um, you can pick and choose whichever officer, as we said, because you will eventually unlock all, all officers later on. So let's go with Linda. Alright, so... Uh, Linda starts explaining some things at the beginning and this is where we start explaining something called the trust level or the uh, trust mechanics. So, how does this work? So technically, once you uh, increase your trust level, you can easily uh, un uh, unlock or your officers will give you boosts to your city or to your troops depending where you place them. We will explain this, we'll go further with this later on. So. These are currently the invaders, these are the NPCs of the game, and these are the bad guys as well. So, your purpose in the game to actually uh, try and build this base of operations, attack invaders to gain rewards, and play a PvP uh, and, free, uh, and freely with your guild and with the other players on the server. So, uh, going through the game... Uh, Linda requests to build a tank armory. Now, a tank armory is where you pre uh, is a building required to produce tanks in the game, which is one type of the troops. Um, if you click over here, you can see that there are five tiers of each troop. So, tiers can be unlocked uh, through, through research in more advanced stages of the game. So, once you advance and grow in the game, you'll be able to unlock higher tiers of tanks, which have uh, higher uh, f uh, features and specifications uh, in terms of battle and attack and defense. So, let's start off by producing 20 tanks. And here is the Officers Club. The Officers Club is mainly where you can uh, build and grow your trust level with your officers. And you can as well appoint officers to do certain things uh, to boost your troops and your gathering speed and whatnot. So, uh, you can gain trust level by either using items that will give you uh, more trust, uh, more trust to increase your level. This is how you basically, once you click here, you can actually increase your level from level 1 to level 2. There are a total of 5 levels of trust level. Each level will unlock you a hand move that can actually uh, increase your uh, star level as well as give you more boosts depending where that specific officer is placed. So currently the invaders are attacking so we have to uh, handle them. Let's go out of the base. They are currently bombarding our base so let's go out and show them who's the boss. So a great feature about this game is that it features free movement of troops. So you are free to move your troops around the battlefield wherever you want. Another cool feature is that it provides you with live uh, battles. So you will be actually play, uh, like playing live and seeing the battle going live when you are trying to attack invaders, which are the PvEs, or you are actually trying to go in battles with, with your opponents, with, your other, uh, with other players that are playing the game. So... Uh, moving the troops is very simple, you just click on the troop and you move it towards the location you want to, uh, to attack or to, to place the troop uh, over there. So th now we are trying to follow up with the invaders at this point. Um, so, as you can see from, uh, from the, the troops over here, there are two bars. There are the, the, the green bar, which is the health bar, and the other one, which is basically the ability bar. We will go through this in another episode to explain exactly what are those, but mainly the health bar shows you the exact health of your troops of that current march, and the uh, ability bar shows you uh, what skill uh, is, uh, when is the skill ready to be used. Unfortunately, we were swarmed by invaders that were hiding in the bushes, so now Linda is getting captured, but don't worry, in the tutorial, we'll be easily able to uh, get, uh, take her from the invaders and escape her. So, 
to recruit commanders and officers, actually, uh, you can go to the base. You have two, two, two ways to do that. The basic recruitment and the elite recruitment. Currently, we will do the elite recruitment as it's on free. Uh, the, the game gave it to us for free. So now we have unlocked an officer named Marjorie. Marjorie is specialized in tanks and she is a rare officer. You can see that from the sign that is uh, uh, lighting up the blue color. Uh, that means she's a rare officer. Currently, there are three um, types of officers in terms of uh, rarity. Uh, so the first one is rare, which is blue. The second one is epic, which is purple. And the third one is legendary, which is uh, lighted in gold or yellow. So now Marjorie is our main officer and she is requesting us to build a garage. The garage is mainly used to heal your troops that were wounded or severely wounded in the uh, in the fights. So we have 20 tanks that were severely wounded uh, while fighting the invaders. Now we can easily repair them in the garage. It, would, it doesn't require a lot of time at the beginning. Now we have repaired our troops and the trust level have, has increased with Linda. So in the tutorial over here, uh, we have three main missions, upgrading the headquarters to level two, producing 20 tanks and eliminating level one invaders. So first of all, let's produce 20 tanks. Uh, we have already done that, I believe before. So they are requesting first to do the invaders. So if you click on the search button, you can easily search for level one invaders that uh, will spawn near your city. So uh, those invaders, once you click an attack, um, and choose your officer, you can easily march your troops towards the invaders. Uh, you can, once you click an attack, you could choose the troop combination, which we, uh, which we f uh, saw just a second ago. As you can see, the health, uh, the, the, the health bar was decreasing because we're taking damage and the, uh, the other bar, which is the skill bar was increasing because once you fight more, the health, uh, the, the other bar increases. So let's upgrade our headquarters to uh, level two. The headquarters is the main building in the city and each building can reach the highest level as the HQ. So for example, if your HQ is level five, all your buildings can go up to a limit of level five. This is why it's very important to always keep your HQ upgraded to the highest level so that you can actually upgrade your other buildings to gain uh, better boosts and progress in the game. So upgrading the HQ right now. Uh, at beginning, you can actually fast upgrade it for free if it's under five minutes. So now we upgraded it for free. Now we have an HQ level two. So we gained some, some power uh, and it increased the march capacity, the marching queue, the scout queue, and the power. We gained some, as well, some, some rewards from it, some cool rewards. All right, so. Uh, last thing let's do is produce 20 tanks. So you just click 20, produce, there we go. So the ultimate goal is to rescue Linda and recruit this powerful officer Linda. All right, let's go. So here's an invader's base. Uh, this base is a unique feature that you will see only in the uh, tutorial. Normally these don't exist in the game, so it's just in the tutorial. There's a specific event called Coast Rebels where you can see this specific base once again, uh, but we will see that later on. So choosing Marjorie as the main officer and then choosing our uh, combination of troops, we have about uh, 1,040 units, so we should easily be able to pick up this invader's base. So while moving through the map, you can see your officers over here. Uh, moving closely, you can see more closer combat. Uh, all right. So if you click on your march, you can see the march, how much time it will it will need to reach uh, that specific uh, location. And you can actually you have three features over here to either camp them, return them to the base, or put an emoji out. So let's put an emoji out over here. Let's tell the invaders that we are about to kill them to get Linda back. All right, it's a hard battle, it's a very close one, but we will be able to definitely win it. Once we up unload with our skill, as you can see, that red uh, flat, uh, that red number over there was the skill damage uh, used once we actually hit with our skill, the officer's skill. Now we have got Linda, which is an epic officer, 
uh, that will help us specifically uh, increasing our tanks. She will be our tanks leader. So, basically those were the uh, basic mechanics in the game, things that I wanted to explain to you in this first episode. We will be uploading daily content of Kiss of War, trying to cover all the aspects of the game, trying to give you guys some more guides and tips. This was just an introduction video to introduce you guys to this new game that was released a couple of months ago. I've been having, I've been playing this game for like two months right now. This is just a fresh account to show you guys the first looks and the tutorial of the game. The next video, I will show you my my account that I've been playing for about 50 days over there. Uh, we It's already in an advanced level, so it will show you guys exactly uh, all the features that are available in the game and uh, explain and hopefully give you some, some nice tips that you can use and excel uh, in this specific game. Thank you so much for watching. I would highly appreciate it. If you like this content, I would highly appreciate uh, a like on the video and a subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys.